Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So today we have a real nice 66 Mustang in the shop today. And the problem that I'm having is that the car won't idle pretty much like at all. So when I start it up, as I'll demonstrate right now, once I start it up, I need to stay on the accelerator and I got to continue giving it gas, giving it gas. And, the, and even if I keep my foot in, like if I had my idle screw in, it, it will still die and I have to literally like punch the gas, punch the gas, and then that's the only way it stays on. So right now I have a feeling I might know what it is. They rebuilt the carburetor before and the car pretty much has never been able to idle. So I have a feeling one of the gaskets might be the problem, but I'm not entirely sure yet. But first let me demonstrate, you know, the issue and then we'll dive into what I think the problem might be. And hopefully it is, that way we fix the problem for you as well. So let me start the car so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, neutral. So the moment that I let off the gas, it, it died on me. So every single time I had to basically like mash on the gas uh, several times, you know, pump the gas so that the accelerator pumps could actually uh, inject max gas in there so that the car could stay on, right? So without doing that, the car dies. Even, even if I attempted to like maintain my foot in there, the car still dies. So let's move on and see if we can fix this. Well, I've got the carburetor on the bench and I don't have my tripod with me here, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the lower piece off because I think the gasket that is in between, see how there's a, uh, there's a gasket that goes right in there, okay? There's that gasket that is right in there. Maybe that is, it might have the wrong gasket i'm gonna basically take all these off so it's this one that one that one that one that one that one i'm gonna take those six off and then this whole lower piece will separate and i want to see if the gasket is potentially covering up some of the some of the holes for the idle circuit okay so i ended up taking the bottom plate off for the bottom piece of the the carburetor off right and this is the gasket that goes in between this was not the problem, uh, but I did figure out a problem that we got going on over here, which I'll get to in a second. But just in case uh, you face this similar problem, right, and it turns out not to be what I explain over here when I get there, uh, this can also be another problem. So you have a lot of covered areas. There's there's holes where there doesn't need to be any, right, because this this application is for many different things or the gaskets for many different uh, carbs and stuff, right? So the problem you can run into is when you order a kit, you're going to get several different uh, gaskets that may look the same, but they're going to have one or two holes that are actually not going to be pre-drilled into your gasket in which it's going to cause a blockage and you need the holes. So you might end up with something like that. I mean, I'm, I'm doing this on purpose. But let's just say you have this scenario, right? Like what I got right here. Well, you have two holes, but there's nothing there, right? Well, imagine if this is the way the gasket was sitting and you actually have two holes there, but they're being covered. So you see how there's two holes there? Well, if the gasket ha had been made like this to where the holes are blocked off, you're not going to be getting what you got to get from these two little holes. You know, you, you're going to have fluids coming in through here for, for your idols and all that stuff or gas right so you're gonna be with blocked off passageways so in our case i checked everything out everything is everything checks out all holes are exposed so this is where i got to this okay so let me flip this guy around um can you see that little slit over there 
and you might you might see a lot of other videos on this I'm not sure but see that little that little cut right there a little the little rectangle okay you should have one on the other side as well okay let me lay this down here okay you should have one over there too and we don't it's not exposed now I'm gonna depress the butterfly a little bit there you see how it exposed it over there well that's the problem it's not adjusted correctly so this needs to be engaged a little bit to where you form like a little square back there and the way to do that is you have a little set screw right there and that that kind of works like your idle so you know every time people are messing with the idle it's this little screw right there you screw it in and it pushes this this little uh, this little bolt and it pushes it down right and hence gives you more throttle and it opens up the idle right well you have that exact concept over here so let me turn this around see how right there that little screw is sticking out well it's the same thing but you need a little flathead screw and well of course you can't set that one up unless you flip it over so yeah you're gonna have to pull it off and let me get my my little screwdriver right here so I'm gonna get it to the point where we can see that little square so all you do is you crank it over and you continue to rotate it until you get a little square opening over there I don't know if y'all can see that. There's a little square now, okay? I'm gonna leave it just like that. And I'm pretty much ready, set to go. Uh, I actually think this might even be bottomed out already. Yeah, it's probably bottomed out already, but there you go. That's all you wanna have, just that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna assemble this all back together and cross your fingers that this fixes our idle problem okay carburetors installed let me now get in it and see where we're at get a little gas That's about the longest I've ever seen this car stay on. It's a little cold blooded, so that's about to die. Huh? It's on though. So it's wanting to idle. Idle circuit now, you know, it's it's exposed and the car's running. I've never seen this car run this long, so that's what the car came in for. As you can see, that, that was the problem. The little idle circuit was pretty much covered up. It was exposed on the front side, on the primary, but on the secondary side it was not. See, the car's running now. I don't even have my foot on the gas pedal. In the beginning, what you were hearing was my dog barking, so I don't think that was the car. But yeah, car's running. I mean, I got more adjusting to do, but I mean, car's running, so looks like I got more adjusting to do but at least the car idles now so you got to get it up to temperature and you know it's pretty cold still so once it gets up to temperature that's when you want to do all your fine tuning so yep hopefully this helps somebody else out there well if you found value in this video please hit that like button so it lets YouTube know that this is good content until next time guys y'all be good